We are here in Santa Rosa, or the Santa Rosa Mountains in California. Got this beautiful yellow post site on top of the mountain. We got this car situated to where we could open up the hatch and then have this really nice view of the mountains. But we got a problem. This bench is directly in the sun. We are going to relocate this this car, have the passenger side of the car facing the table, and we're going to deploy my 10 by 10 do-it-yourself awning. Before I move this for you guys, what I keep in here, hot pans, two butane stoves, all that. So when we get this spontaneous idea to go camping, but hey, let's go camping. It's like a industrial piece of luggage, the wheels. So let's get to the system. All right, well, first of all, Let's go take a look at this pole. It's meant to change out light bulbs. It's an ex uh, 11 foot extending pole. To unlock it, you will turn to the left and then you just pull it out. It's a little bit dirty, I guess. Huh? This is gonna be as, as far out as it comes. But of course, you're not gonna want to do that because you want to give it a little slack. Maybe between uh, like three and five inches or so, right? So just turn that to the right to lock it. There it is, that part's locked. And then we have another piece right here. So turn that to the left and then pull. Yeah, pull. That's as far as it's gonna extend. Uh, this thing comes out to 11 feet. Obviously we only need 10 feet. So we are gonna push that back in a little bit. And there we go. This is our pull. Turn it to the right to lock. And it is really freaking strong. Um, it's very windy. So this will be a true test of the tarp. And I'll let you know if it holds up. Okay, so let's go into detail. This pole comes yellow. I wrapped it in a black vinyl wrap so that it matches my, my car. I attached it using pipe clamps. The reason why there's a zip tie there is to kind of hold that tab down so it's not flopping around. I got two of them. One here, and the one over here. Strategically placed right behind the uh, crossbars. More aerodynamic. Now, main feature of this extending pole is going to be this hole right here. This hole is a big deal. This is where you're going to take your carabiner, run it through so that you can attach your tarp. I, I guess I have to explain what the hell this thing is. These are uh, traction boards. I have another video where I 
I ramp test these things. They're also used as a tie down platform. All right, so let's get this thing ready. First thing I do is I run a decently sized carabiner through this hole right here. That's gonna accept the tarp. This piece comes with an extending pole. What I did was got a small carabiner and I hooked it on to this attachment that came with the pole. Used two small zip ties. And what you do is screw it on to the end. Okay, so now that we have a tie down point here, we could hook up our tarp. Oh, by the way, you're gonna want to use a nice nylon rooftop tarp that should run you about, I think, anywhere from $40 to $50. It's worth it. You can't use the cheap $6 painter tarps that you get from the hardware store because they, they don't flex well. And I bet you that in, in strong winds, those things will break. This thing won't. Here we go. Gonna hook this up. Oh yeah, I did. But, oh yeah. Focused. We're not done yet. Adjustable bungee cord. Okay, so now let's throw it through. Lock it in. We're gonna extend it like so. There, no slack anymore. Nothing is tight. Just gonna turn it back right to lock it in. There we go. It doesn't take very long. Let's go take a look. The pole goes in first, and then the guy line is going to be right on top of the tarp grommet. This is an adjustable guy line, and when you give it some tension, that uh, the adjuster thing does not move. This is the position we want the tarp. Let's make it for a nice, really nice flat tarp. Just kind of find out where we're gonna put this skyline. Let's go take a look at it. Actually, I'm I'm good with this. Well, we're gonna be sitting on this table. Now we have shade, and we could cook some lunch. One of the main reasons why I use a tarp is to give you shelter in rain. See how it's drooping. Not good, but there's a solution for that. Grab the trekking poles. Trekking poles are much shorter than these tarp poles. And what you do is take a tarp pole, connect it to one of the middle grommets so that it's up nice and high. And then you get those hiking poles and they probably only come out to about like right here. What you'll create is actually like a sloped house. Kind of like this picture here. 